Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and welcome to today's video so <coughs> I'm traveling to Lancaster today I have a seminar um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that when I'm on the train I'm in the station car park right now I'm just about to pay for my parking I'm trying to get all my shit together so I don't forget anything or get too flustered and um, the bag I'm using today is the Ted Baker bag I bought I think you saw in my last video um, here it is it's lovely it's very um roomy and yeah i love it at the moment um and yeah i'm just gonna pay for my parking um because if i forget it so the time is 6 48 and my train is at um 8 30 from london euston to lancaster um of course you know i'm taking you along with me why not um my super fabulous intellectual life or whatever the playlist is called um, and yeah Lancaster University is where I am currently doing my PhD so that's why I'm going to the seminar um, it's an interesting seminar um, I'll tell you the details in a moment just trying to I like to make sure everything is in order because uh, if I forget to pay for this select duration if I forget this I will get a ticket which is no fun no bueno pay okay so parking is done alhamdulillah no nope, it's going through processing 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 okay yep payment reference alhamdulillah okay guys so i'm done so i'm gonna be off in a moment um yeah do you like my nails my <laughs> so these nails my nieces saw these on um they saw them in a picture and they call them farata mugwa which in Hausa translates in english as um wicked witch nails because they look like witches nails in a, a little bit but not really because witches nails are like long and dirty and obviously this is a french finish um ombre and yeah they're really cool because they're just so like they're just so extra like yeah they are i guess yeah they're extra but they're cool i love i love them um so let's be off i don't want to blabber too much um i think the next thing you'll see me either in the um virgin lounge in euston or on the train i hope the train isn't like busy because i do want to film and i just don't want to you know be in an awkward situation so yeah let's go
98 pounds which is still really expensive it's just, like ridiculous but the thing is I've already like spent you know my time and money trying to get here so then to not get here is just kind of counterproductive anyway um, and I really do want to attend this um, conference so it was just a case of you know what like I'm gonna get here regardless so I bought another ticket um, for 9.30 arriving at 12 which is a little bit you know because it means I've missed um, quite a bit of the conference which I mean there's nothing I'm sure I don't know if it's going to be streamed or recorded or whatever but it's a slightly disappointing um, uh, anyway um, the good news is I'm on my way to Lancaster I'll be arriving in about half an hour and um, when I get there I think it's another 10-15 minutes by taxi to the university um, so you know it's better late than never I guess um, I did manage to get into because I managed to because I'm a boss I spoke to the train manager who was absolutely lovely I just explained to her I said look I spent all this money buying a ticket and then buying another one like a hundred pounds you know please can you let me on I was nice about it I wasn't like an ass arsey about it because if you want a favor because it is literally a favor it's her discretion um, like I am not entitled to be in this carriage I'm not entitled to anything and you need to acknowledge that when you want a favor so I just said look this is a situation um, I'd be I don't I don't think I said I'd be grateful I was just like polite about it and she's just very nice and she said to me yeah sure so I did manage to um, and yeah what have I missed so what I missed so far um, so basically the the conference is um, it's hosted by the Center for Global Higher Education which is totally my thing and it's on graduateness um, the, the topic is what is what is a graduate of contemporary higher education and it's a third seminar series key debates in higher education from 10 to 4 so I've missed the first couple of hours um, there's um, how many speakers one two three four five six there's somebody actually from the University of Leeds which is interesting because um, I'll be like hello that's the thing that like, obviously all universities that kind of know each other um, but if you work in education like in specific fields of education you all kind of know each other somebody from University of Nottingham, someone from University of Leeds, somebody from University of Hong Kong in China is an honorary professor um, at Middlesex University and then somebody from Southampton University and the seminar will discuss different meanings of graduateness in contemporary higher education and the different role of knowledge in producing graduates, how the unbundling of higher education impacts on our understanding of graduateness the, cha the changing role of universities in developing graduates and how the idea of graduates will develop into the future. So in terms of like my projects, like my projects for obviously, you know, like in terms of um, Africa, Nigeria, um, it's a really an interesting thing for me. And also I've written um, a couple of articles for a blog called um, Study International. Um, I can put the link if you're interested in reading what it was about and I did speak about you know graduateness and basically employment and unemployment that graduates face when they finish university that kind of thing um, so you know I'm gutted that I've missed the first two hours but it's not the end of the world things happen things happen you just have to kind of roll with it and then um, the program let's have a look at the program so from 10 to from 10.15 to 11.30 is the keynote, first keynote speech, which is Knowledge and the Graduate. And the speaker is somebody from the University of Nottingham. I have, actually the chair of this is actually my current supervisor for the research that I'm going to be doing, um, that I spoke to you about, that actually is about Kano and Nigerian education. So I'm going to be in time, hopefully, fingers crossed, for Keynote 2, which is the graduate in 
and Unbundled University and the speaker is Neil Morris from the University of Leeds so that's um, no stranger to me um, I'm gonna be a little bit late for that but I'm gonna you know haggle my way in because I really want to be there and then I'm gonna be so there's gonna be lunch for an hour and then there's a panel discussion on the meanings of graduateness in contemporary higher education which obviously is going to be very interesting um, so you know it is what it is I, I wish I didn't miss it I wish I arrived in Lancaster for 8 30 and started but I didn't what can you do it's life there's no point stressing about things you can't control it was meant to be um, yes I spent more money than I planned but at the end of the day it's only money money is energy if you let it out you get it back so you'll see me next when I arrive at the university um, I hope that kind of explained what today is about and I definitely will be um, yeah we'll be sharing more of it with you I'm 
in um, Lancaster now. I'm still in the station, and um, I love this station because it's just a like a little typical English town, English village station, very um, old and traditional. Um, nothing like any of the massive stations in London. Also, um, I used to have a train set when I was young that I used to put together. Um, and it just these stations like this remind me of my childhood and my train set. So I've just been to the cash machine because um, I need to pay for the taxi in cash. And um, I'm on my way now to get a taxi to the university. And yeah, uh, something I really love about being up north um, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. The sun is shining, so yeah, happy to be here. And you can tell when you're in an English village when you have to queue for taxis. So you can see the queue behind me. Um, is a key for taxi so I don't know how long I'm gonna to have to wait I probably will miss the second keynote which means um, I'm gonna get there around lunchtime and I'm gonna to have to probably just um, join the panel discussion so but like I said it's better late than never and you know I'm just happy to be here it's a beautiful day and Lancaster is a beautiful town or village or I'm not sure if it's a city but to be a city you have to have a cathedral so I'm not sure, but the buildings are really lovely. Let me show you what it looks like. Really beautiful, typical um, English town. This is very different from London. So as I was saying, I love being up north because it's just the people and their energy. It's just different to London. I'm not saying I don't like London because I do, but it's just different when you're up north. The people are just, just different. It's just a different place. Same country, different place. So I'm waiting for my taxi. So my train arrived at um, 12 o'clock and I've just made it to the university um, and the time is 12.53. So basically I had to wait for, it was ridiculous, like the taxi rank had like 20 people waiting and no taxis and the taxi he brought me here, he, it was his third journey, like he went and came back, went and came back. Um, ridiculous but anyway I met this really um, lovely English gentleman who's a I think he's a professor he did you know quite humble he didn't brag about what he does I fished it out of him he's an engineer and he teaches he didn't say which university so we shared the taxi and he very kindly paid the fare um, and yeah we got talking he was talking about you know um, structural he's a structural engineer and bridges and all that stuff um, yeah so I have missed both keynote speeches um, now is the lunch break, so I'm just gonna make it in time for the panel discussion, but you know what? Things happen. This is life. I made it um, There's no point stressing today. You can see I'm quite in a chill mood. I'm the very academic Nafisa I'm feeling very academic. I'm not in um, My fuck you mood. I'm not telling you all to go fuck yourselves <laughs> Even though I can't promise I won't because if I do get stressed I will but right now i'm kind of chilled and i'm kind of lost so i need to find this place because i definitely don't want to um miss this um uh comp you know the discussion panel i need to i'm really dying for the bathroom this is where i stayed i stayed in this beatrice house behind me this is where i stayed um the last time I was here I stayed overnight and you know what I should have actually done that very stupid of me I should have I definitely should have just um, booked overnight stay and just returned because I'm not teaching tomorrow I'm not teaching tomorrow morning so I really don't know why I didn't do that because now I have to rush I finish four my train is at five and the taxis obviously suck so I booked it anyway but I hope they come on time so anyway I've made it I'm here um, I wish I was staying um, so silly of me so I'm only here for the panel discussion which is I am gutted but it is what it is guys um, so welcome to Lancaster very beautiful university I couldn't film in the taxi because obviously um, it's awkward because obviously there's a, I'm with somebody <coughs> like a <coughs> he's a English gentleman professor academic like I'm not gonna start like vlogging but the town is very pretty so maybe on the way back I might give you a glimpse of um 
the city or the town or whatever it is. It's a village. This is a village. There's not nothing here. Anyway. I found the place. Thank God I don't need to go looking. There it is. and deconstruct that knowledge effectively. So meta abilities as well, I think, are very important. Uh, to, uh, I'm just uh, walking to get um, a chai latte, which I had last time, which was really nice. Um, but the taxi service is really, really lame. So I booked it for... I booked the taxi for 4.30 because my train is at 5, or 4.20, sorry. Um, but they, they're not like, they don't, they don't text me a confirmation or anything. So I have to just check and make sure that my taxi is coming because if I miss the train, um, I don't want to have to pay another hundred pounds like I did this morning. So that's it really. Um, and when I phoned, the lady sounded like really confused as if she doesn't know what I'm talking about, which is a little bit worrying because I'm just like, I need my taxi to be here because I need to get the train to London at five. Anyway, I'm off to get a char latte now, and um, the conference was, is over. Um, I'll be talking a little bit about that once I um, sit down. So, chai latte is first. So, this is me being a real student. I'm sitting on the grass. Um, this place is called County Avenue, um, and this is where the taxi is going to pick me up. Let me show you. Can you see that? I zoom in. Yeah. County Avenue North Campus. It's beautiful and hot. The weather, oh my god, it's amazing. This is real summer. Um, I've taken my jacket off. You can see I've got my thumb in full summer mode. I have my I have my masala um, chai and yeah I'm in full uh, uni mode. I feel like I'm a, real uni student. The only thing I'm ruining is my shoes. I should have worn my Karen Millen slides but I've got these um, ballet pumps on which kind of just is a little bit you know ruins. And here's my Ted Baker bag. I really love this bag. It's so squishy. It's not leather but it feels like almost better than leather because it's so squishy. I've got so much in it but it's so roomy. I'm just honestly I can't rave enough about this bag. I love it more than I thought I would. So I'm just waiting for my taxi. It's been an interesting day. The, ser the conference is over. Um, we finished the panel discussion with, uh, yeah, it was interesting, really interesting. I think I might talk about it more when I'm in the train, but basically the interesting thing is, so talking about graduateness, what it means, what being a graduate means in contemporary higher education. So personally, my view is um, it means different things depending on who the person is. Like we can't all have a generic idea and we shouldn't have a generic idea of what a, being a graduate is because we're all from different walks of life we're all diverse in terms of background and experience and all that and that's okay like we don't need to be generic that's my stance um it was interesting generally as an ant oh my god you love nature the problem stamping off the ants goodness so you love nature but the problem um, generally in education there is usually teachers, academics, educationalists tend to be lefties, left-wingers um, and if we are talking about a scale, a political scale, I'm not afraid to talk about politics um, of like um, right and left, I definitely lean to, more towards the right I am a conservative um, and I'm not apologetic about that, that's what I believe. Um, so usually in these sorts of um, situations I do stand out because the majority of people they're all like 
towards the left and they believe being um, privileged or middle class or wealthy is a bad thing and I just don't think it is I really don't I think um, there's a consensus that middle class is bad and working class is good and that's just stupid it's really stupid and untrue um, and I feel like if you are middle class or even upper class um, you almost have to like suppress your privilege your middle class privilege and that's not fair it's not fair because you suppressing your privilege doesn't enable less privileged to be privileged it's not about that I mean I don't want to get into it now not because I don't want to it's just because I need a longer video to discuss it but I just don't think if somebody happens to be privileged it's not a bad thing and like for example um, a lot of privileged people who are middle class are good people who do a lot of good things for less privileged people so there's this kind of anti-privileged anti-middle class sentiment within education generally not just university or higher education just generally speaking um, and I've kind of am a bit like a sore thumb I don't fit in because I don't think like that anyway let me find out where my taxi is because this sun is actually hot what's going on this is Lancaster North England and the weather is feeling like I'm in Morocco um, I'm loving it I'm not complaining anything but I need to know where my taxi is Oh, London's just impossible for anyone. Well, I'm thinking, let's not go to London, let's go to Lancaster, or even Manchester, Liverpool. And, and Leeds, like Leeds is and insane. Leeds well, yeah. So people come up north and they'll save themselves money. Well, in some ways you do, but it's kind of just... So what's happened is just getting sort of like mini Londons yeah, yeah, yeah. up north. But the thing is, like, even under fifty pound a week, to rip. of course it is. It's, I remember when it used to be like something ridiculous. So I don't know how much of that conversation you had between me and um, the taxi driver but that's very typical of um, northerners just really friendly and um, just easygoing I mean it's not that people in London aren't like that but most of the time they'll piss you off so much like asking you where are you from um, and you know to be fair like you hardly ever get a white British or a white English taxi driver um, in London it's like not something that is common especially like nowadays so um, I think like even in Leeds in Leeds all the um, taxi drivers are Muslim so when um, you get you see white taxi drivers here it's just like oh this is different I'm, like, I'm surely <laughs> in England um, and that's just an observation I know people love to take things like this out of context and put a racist um, twist on it but if you do that that's on you it's just an observation it's true there are no white taxi drivers in England like where I usually see except for usually in small towns like this now obviously when I first started teaching early on in my teaching career I did a lot of like teaching around um, English uh, countryside and villages um, and obviously they were predominantly white areas where the taxi drivers were white but like in larger cities it's almost impossible even the Uber drivers in London they're, if they're white they're usually Eastern European again this is just an observation you know chill your pants um, I know people just love to get annoyed for nothing so anyway it's cool anyway he's very chatty and um, the traffic was insane and he was like trying to get me to the station on time which I appreciate he took like a shortcut and it was just very sweet and very pleasant and I like sweet and pleasant people so um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my train I'm in this lounge I should be outside really because the weather's beautiful but I'm in here so yeah I'm waiting for my train which should be in about 10 minutes I'm on my way back to London and I couldn't film um, much 
of the conference because obviously the rights belong to the university um, and also if I don't have people's permission I don't really want to be filming them just because it's just not cool so um, I did a little snippet of the notes I took which was towards the end where we had the panel discussion I showed you which was really interesting obviously a discussion is always interesting and I did um, speak about I did say um, what it was when I was sitting on the grass so I'm not going to go into it but this is the pack um, that kind of we've just got given which has just got the conference details it's got the conference details here um, so again um, key debates in higher education seminar series graduateness what is a graduate of contemporary higher education um, and this is a third seminar series so I'm really um, proud of Bayer University Kano because they did um, a seminar series in the Department of Mass Communication which was the first one I was invited I attended I vlogged that actually um, and then basically in here all there was was just a list of the presenters and participants and um, just a notice that the event was being live streamed if you didn't want to be recorded in there and then there's a map of the university and there's also a feedback sheet so because it's recorded, I'm obviously happy because I can watch the two keynote um, speeches that I missed. Um, and also, I the benefit of attending for me is obviously it just provides a lot more insight in terms of key debates, key areas of focus. And obviously, right now, I'm starting, like I said before, the research that I'm writing regarding um, the Nigerian education system, which is obviously for me this is a trigger in my brain I just get so excited all these things that like, they trigger off all these ideas and everything so um, that's why it's exciting for me and um, the next con conference I have is in Leeds which is a full day um, and I probably I'll try and see I don't know if I'll record that I'm not sure we'll see um, but yeah I couldn't really record the seven the conference just like I said you know the rights belong to the university and it's also awkward so sorry if you wanted to see that and you didn't um, but it was really good and really cool um, and I'll be linking an article that I wrote about um, graduate unemployment